Welcome back. Here's what you need to know to start your day. California power regulators issued a flex alert asking people to conserve power from 5 to 10 p.m. today. They ask you set your thermostat to 78 or higher and avoid using large appliances. Regulators say they're hoping to avoid a wide-scale power blackout during the dangerous heat. Glen County is offering some places you can go to cool down to get away from the heat today. Cooling zones are located at all county library branches during regular daytime hours. You can also seek respite at the Hamilton City Fire Department from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and at the Public Health Department in Willows from 8 to 5 p.m. We are still tracking the dairy fire burning near Whiskeytown Lake. This is what it looked like when it started Tuesday. This orchard is uh, near Canal Road and Tyler Road, and it's, this is yesterday afternoon. Now you can still see some smoke and hot spots and helicopter drops overhead. Right now the 163 acre fire is 40% contained. The rock fire that broke out Tuesday as well near Benson Drive and Rock Creek Road near Whiskeytown. Right now crews working to put out hot spots. That fire at 60% containment burning a little more than 100 acres. This morning we're working to learn what may have sparked both fires. Reading police say a driver was hospitalized with major injuries after crashing near the O'Brien off-ramp. They say the driver hit a guardrail, detaching the trailer and sending the big rig onto the shoulder. A sergeant told us they don't believe drugs or alcohol were involved. We are working to learn out more about the driver's condition. Happening today, Alaska Airlines is landing its first inbound flight to Reading. It's the beginning of a new route between Seattle and Reading. The outbound flight to Seattle leaves Friday morning. Now, if you are on that flight, the city wants you to arrive two hours early to prevent delays. This is all part of expanding services at the Reading Municipal Airport. Happening today, a festival celebrating recovery after the campfire. The Paradise Rising Festival kicks off at 5.30 this evening at the Paradise Aquatic Park. It's free for everyone and there will be 250 trees that will be given out as part of the rebuilding efforts in that community. You never more than 10